that it was time for him to go to the battlefield and fight courageously. He gathers the family members, starts to bid farewell to them one by one. And he looked and there was one daughter of his, Sukaina, who was sitting in the corner of the tent. She looked up and said, oh my father, is it true that I will be an orphan? He said, oh my dear daughter, bear this and be patient, for God the Almighty will reward you and will take you out of this difficult position. She said, oh my father, if is this the case, then place your hands on my head, just the way the orphans are treated. Hussein ibn Ali has now bid his farewell to his family members and goes towards the battlefield. Then he looks towards his steed and spurs his steed and says, O oh steed, take your master to his final battle. enemies of Allah. Do you know how you have violated the sanctity of the messenger of Allah? Do you know what blood you have spilled? When Umar ibn Saad saw that this was not working, he began saying to them, and they did not to see a large number of people. They surrounded Hussein like blockers. Everyone kept fighting for one side. Hussein kept fighting. He extracts the arrows from his body, stands and engages the enemy. Says, by Allah, you will never again fight one like me. Abba Abdullah fights them to a great extent. Abba Abdullah trembled as he supplicated. He said, oh Lord, endurance upon your decree, acceptance of your final command. O oh Lord, you are my only Lord, the one I rely on on every affair. No one other than you is worthy of worship. We are told stones are being thrown at him. Arrows are fired at him. The enemies surround him and mock at him. When Abba Abdullah falls to the ground, they all retreat, not knowing his fate. Abba Abdullah is still breathing.
witness the final moments of Abu Abdullah approach as the army closes in on Abu Abdullah. Abu Abdullah's lips begin to move in the praise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The enemy is called out by Allah. We have not seen a man so deprived, so helpless, so hungry, so thirsty, so wounded, about to die, but his face radiates as Abu Abdullah's face radiates with serenity and eulogizing Allah. Shimon advances towards Abu Abdullah. Abu Abdullah barely finds himself in the sajda. Shimmer grabs the hair of Imam Hussein from the back and flings him upon his back. In another hadith, Jibreel alayhi salam, he said, your community will kill this son of yours. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam replied, they will kill him while believing in me? And he said, yes. And then Jibreel brought forth soil and said, from such and such a place. Ali radiallahu anh, he said, I entered upon the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam one day and his eyes were pouring forth tears. I said, messenger of God, has someone angered and upset you? What is the matter that your eyes weep? He sallallahu alayhi wasallam replied, rather Jibreel stood with me before me and informed me that Hussein would be killed by the banks of the Euphrates. When he stands at that place, there is individuals who dare to even think of harming a hair of the grandson of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam. A young boy who upon his birth, the Prophet made the aqiqah for him. He called the adhan in his ears. He did the tahniq, he put his blessed saliva into the mouth of his grandson. He gave him his name, 